Okay, okay. Trade six hundo. Three six double O. Trade six hundred with a niggas who run it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Trade six hundo. Three six double O. Trade six hundo. Three six double O. To that, you say, um, we'll segue into, um, you said you, um, you was like, you was literally like a rap star at 15. Yeah. Uh, let's, let's, talk, let's talk about that. I was him, well, I was him before 15. Y'all just got to hear about him <laughs> at 15, you know what I'm saying? Keep yeah. 100. You know, like, shit, nigga, you ever look through them comments, you'll see people talking to me about when we was in seventh and eighth grade when I'm beating on the table with the pencils, you know, and, and, yeah. and, and freestyling through the lunches, you know, every day. This is what we do, you know? But, um, Nah, man, it was it, it was live. I ain't expected it, it to take like it took, you know. Especially once it hit the radio, it was it was it was a, it was a fool. I just you know remember going, doing what I do, recording. And like I say, when I started recording, I didn't know Pookie. Um, I just met Kevin A, the producer. So okay. when to put it together, he was like, "Hey, I got a nigga album I'm working on named Pookie. I might want to get you on a song." I ended up getting on the song and shit. The rest was history. Wow, wow. Yep. And shit, I'm in high school, so, you know, it's super live, you know? It's oh, yeah. It's on the radio, and then that's one thing. That's, I think that's what helped my music travel a whole lot, just in a marketing standpoint, because you got, you know, all high schools fuck with each other, bro, from the north. Right. You know, somebody trying to go mess with somebody, girl, and shit. You know how they yep. shit travel yep. and shit. People talking. Yeah, you know, I got 1,200 in my school just talking, so they got friends just talking, and then that's why that... That's how them young drill rappers right now are doing a hundred K and a million a day right now. Fact, because fact. the youngsters are talking quickly. Yeah, you know what I mean? That's a fact. Yep. That's what it is. But yeah, nah, it, it was live. I liked it. I, I I enjoyed it. What could you say? What what would you say was the moment when you knew that y'all had y'all that y'all was taking off? Like what what situation? Shit, I uh got booked for a show. Inside of Chattanooga, Tennessee. Okay, let's talk and, about and, uh, it. We uh we rode out there, man. And um, keep in mind, uh, as you start, like we didn't have social media, none of that shit back then. So you didn't know how a place looked or how a place was unless you actually visited it. You know right. what I mean? And shit. Um, yeah, we went out there to Chattanooga, man, and I didn't know they was living like that out there, bro. And and we hit a venue, man, and it was a uh, Five thousand people, you know what I'm wow. saying? Inside that motherfucker, you know, and it was thick. And then, uh, the nigga Archie Lee, you remember the nigga? Uh, um, man, it was Archie? It was, it was Archie Re Ready or um, I'm trying to think? I'm not past the choice, but I know Archie Lee, the nigga Archie Lee. He was opening up for us. It was Archie Lee and one more nigga. They opened up for us. Yeah, being Pookie, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and you know they end up becoming. You know, uh, he ended up doing super, super, super big numbers. But, um, yeah, now nah, when I saw that dog and they singing everything word for word, the DJ fuck up on the music and it stop, but the crowd don't stop. Yeah. It's like, she, yeah, nah, you got one real right here. You know what I mean? It's just for real. That, 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 I knew, I knew it was for real. I knew it was for real. But shit, I, I mean, we knew it was for real also, but that was when I really knew it was for real, but we knew it was for real. When we did our first show right here in Dallas with that yeah. nigga Hakeem, the dream nigga, uh, at the hotel when they used to do Hilltop. We did yeah. Hilltop, bro. And shit, man, uh, we didn't even be able to make it through our first song. Nigga, it was so packed. And then niggas start fighting as soon as we got on stage and start rocking. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. Yep. Superstar status. That's great. Trey 600. Hey, this the drop right here. If you ain't with it, you getting dropped, baby. Get with it before you get left behind, baby. Yes, sir. Hey, shout out my boy Trey 600. You gonna have an interview? Yes, sir. Thank you. Yo, 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 what's happening? It's your big guy, Gorilla Zoe. Let me know. Trey 600. Yes, sir. Let's go. What's going down, baby? It's Black Smooth the Barber behind every legend. It's a great barber. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Mr. Mike, don't trust you in the building. I ain't got no legend with me right now, except Black Smooth the Barber, but we rocking with Trey Six Hundo. Trey Six Hundo! Trey Six Hundo! Yes! Who are you now? Who are you? 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 Who are you?
Fatty man. Big, big music, nigga. Track 600, nigga. In the building, nigga. Talk to me. I'll talk back. Hey. What do you Here we got a Trey Hunter 600.